look, Janet, you know, we, we all know that Donald Steele has made his reputation writing trash and flash. That's why he has to be stopped. <laughs> There are other ways to stop him, all right? Erica could get an injunction. She has uh, Enchantment's entire legal staff at her disposal. She doesn't perceive the danger. Vanessa has dazzled her with a couple of chapters of this bogus bio she's cooking up. It makes Erica look like a cross between Joan of Arc and Mother Teresa. Well, okay, we all know that Donald Steele doesn't do saints. I mean, I can't tell you the number of years he's tried to get Tempo to write excerpts from his unauthorized biography. Erica could sue for slander when the book comes out. Why, then the damage will be done. We sounded the warning. How many times? She, Eric is just is not listening. That's why I'm going to go see Donald Steele myself. I'm going to tell him that there will be consequences. If he publishes, he perishes. You have to leave, all right? This is totally inappropriate. You haven't seen anything yet, honey. If you don't go, I'm going to call the front desk. Really? Whoa! You want to hear my terms now? Hey, look, you can work on the book, you know, with me, all right? You can, you can take care of uh, Erica's issues. Are you issues. kidding me? Is there some kind of glitch in your hard drive or something? What is your problem? There is no book. It's over. Finish. Delete it. Kaput. Listen to me, Janet. Look, I've already spent the advance, all right? Well, that would be your problem. I suggest you save your pennies and pay it back. And don't tell me that you can't get blood out of the turnip. Because I can get blood out of anything. Oh! Calm down, will you? Calm down. What are you, nuts or something? What's wrong with you? Hey, get in here, will you? Get her out of here. Hey, 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 hey. What, what's going on here? I told you I was going to take care of this myself. We are give it up with a stick. The no, party's never, over. No, never, never. Donald, help. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, and no, I'm sure. fine. I had to hold her up till you got here. Uh, listen, <laughs> Janet doesn't mean any harm. It's just that, that she had these episodes. I, I'm trust, I, I can trust you to be discreet. That's my middle good. name. And meanwhile, you'll figure out a way for me to get in bed with Tempo, right? Just as soon as I've changed the sheets. Meanwhile, everything that happens here today is off the record. Like, hey, Brooke, could you get real, all right? I got, I got a fallen idol and a crowbar queen. I'm going to hit the bestseller list at number one. <laughs> Not if I hit you. No, 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 no. He's joking. Yeah, Tell her that you're joking. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm joking. You were insane. Get her. Come get on. I got her. I got her. No! Oh, Janet! Janet, come on, come on. Think of your family. Think of Amanda. Stop it! <laughs> She's dead. You killed her. And you didn't see a thing. No, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. No. Donald, what's good? What, what's I, good? I'm saving my life. I mean, Janet Green strikes again. One down, one to go. Want to make it two for two? You don't really expect me to believe that you use that thing. I wouldn't be down my Jan Jan right about now. Oh, please, this is nothing more than cheap theatrics. Designs as frightened Donald Steele. Is that why he was running out of here? It makes no never mind. The only thing you need to know is your collaborator ain't could be writing one more word about Erica. Oh, that's right. He suddenly lost his taste for blood just when I was warming up. Now, am I supposed to be scared? What are you going to do? Give me a couple of whacks with that thing. Think I won't? Take a closer look. You're not crazy enough to kill a woman in a hotel room. Well, it's not the perfect place, but in a pinch. Keep your distance from me or I will scream. Well, no one heard Donald's yell. Drop the tell-all book about Erica. Drop the phony friendship. Oh, what, what? You got it off me? And you. The skit is over, my dear, so get up. I said, get up. Touch me and I will bite your leg off. Kick a woman when she's down. You're some piece of work. How low can you go? It's not as bad as your stupid little stunt. It seemed like it was very effective. Sent Donald packing. Mm. Well, the man is easily intimidated, but I am not impressed. <laughs> Who cares? You lost your co-author. 
Thank you so much, Brunk. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, <laughs> you're more than welcome. Anyway, you guys, I've got to get back to the office. You and friends are about there, Brooke. <laughs> That's right. Really? What's the matter, Vanessa? Too much for you? Oh, I thought you'd do anything for Erica. I draw the line at psychotic behavior. Mm. Oh, that's not what I hear. <laughs> you know, probably you're, you're planning on doing this nasty little book all by yourself, so I think that I should explain your options to you. Mm. As publisher of Temple Magazine, I will make sure that anyone who is involved in this smear campaign against Erica, whether it's a ghostwriter, an editor, an agent, or a publisher, will never do business with us or any of our affiliates ever <laughs> again. Fine, I guess I'll just have to serialize my work in some bigger magazine. Try it and see how far you get. All right, you guys. I'll uh, see you later. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah. Well, I'll be on my way to... To the airport, I hope. Well, actually, <laughs> you know, a little fake blood and some real amateurish acting isn't going to scare me out of it. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just take a little look-see here what uh, you and old Donald have written about uh, Erica. This is the down and dirty stuff. Yes, I took a look at some of it is, before. Honey. Erica's magnificent face was now a source of shame. She hid her pulpy scars under a ridiculous mask hoping that no one would discover the gargoyle she had become. <laughs>